Or two suspected ISIS followers have been arrested, accused of talking about attacking some major buildings here in New York, including Trump Tower. The case is out of Texas, but prosecutors say much of the talk was about using automatic weapons and setting off bombs on possible targets here. Chief investigative reporter Jonathan Deeds joining us from the newsroom, tracking all of the developments here. John? Yeah, you know, Stefan, some questions today about whether there was a lack of information sharing about this threat between law enforcement agencies. But officials we spoke with all seem to agree the apparent targeting of buildings here in New York was mostly talk that no specific plot was underway. Trump Tower along Fifth Avenue was one location, the New York Stock Exchange another. That, according to federal prosecutors who say, two converts spoke about wanting to attack in the name of ISIS. This South Carolina man, Christopher Sean Matthews, is one of the suspects. He allegedly said he wanted a wave of attacks across the city. We need to take a lot of casualties, a lot of numbers. If you're going to do that, you need to take out numbers. He allegedly went on, this could be Netflix worthy. The FBI says Matthews was communicating in a secret chat room with Texas man Christopher Molina. He allegedly wrote, let's be clear, I'm against America. America is my enemy. The FBI says for the last year, the pair also talked about targeting the White House, CIA headquarters, and other D.C. area landmarks. And while they allegedly wanted to buy AK-47s and bomb parts, officials say they never got very far. Matthews allegedly helped start the ISIS chat room, which the FBI says about 30 ISIS supporters joined from across the globe. But there was also an FBI informant who helped agents and police keep track of the two suspects. Matthews and Molina face material support for terror charges, which could carry 20 years in prison if convicted. The suspects are due in court in Texas early next week. Their lawyers did not return requests for comment. This is, we're told, authorities in New York, Washington, the Carolinas, and in Texas, all now taking a look to see how details of this investigation could have been shared better between their agencies, especially in this post-9-11 world. Jonathan Deanst, News 4. All right, Jonathan, thanks for the latest there.